we got Danny's race bike coming along. Uh, it's been a good day so far. We've done a race wire loom kit. So if you want to see a video on how to do that, uh, subscribe to our channel and, and scroll down. Uh, we got this number plate on associated with all of that. And the next thing we're going to do is the coolant hose kit. Um, I'll put the description for the hose as, that we're going to use in the description below. But to do that, the first thing all we're going to do is we're going to drain the coolant out. We're going to pop both radiators out, get them out of the way, and then we can take these hoses out. It's a pretty simple job, but if you've never done one, um, it's cool to have a video to watch along. Uh, we also have radiator braces, so while we're doing this, we'll throw those on. These are a very simple install as well. We're just going to take these fins off and plug these in its place. All right, first thing is taking the coolant out, and right in the water pump housing, there's a bolt specifically for that. The cool thing with this is you can pull this bolt out first. You're going to get a little bit of coolant coming out, and then go ahead and pull it out there. And then now we'll crack the cap on top. And as we do that, it comes out. So if you're trying to, if you're doing it by yourself, you can get your container and get the other hand up on the handlebar. So this will flush all the way out. We're not going to reuse it. We're going to use engine ice in this bike. That's what Danny wants to run. And then uh, for the grills, these just pop out nice and easy on both sides. We're not going to reuse these either. And it's just a simple eight millimeter upper and lower. And then we've got the hose clamp and you can either use a Phillips or a seven millimeter uh, wrench on that to take both radiators off. So we'll get radiators out of the way and it'll expose everything with the hose kit. All right, we got both of our radiators removed and we got a lot of the hose clamps to lose at this point. Um, these little spacers just pop out. There's like a grommet they squeeze up in the frame and hold the hose from getting, you know, from rubbing on here and putting a hole in it. So what we'll do is we're going to pop this clamp down here so we can pull this T out of the top. And then this, the rest of this is pretty simple, just uh, unloosening some of these Phillips. And then once, once they're removed, we can just speed this back down through. It removes the thermostat out of the system and it removes all of these clamps. You know, the more clamps you have, the more room you have for air and coolant leaking. So what's cool with these kits is it eliminates a lot of that. Without the thermostat, we won't need the this other house on here either. And it has this little little block off. This little guy is gonna go on the radiator right here. So we'll fish this out, we'll get the new hoses put on. Okay, so we got the new hoses here. You just gotta feed this one down through the middle. We reclamped it. And then now we've got our little grommets back in to protect the hoses from the frame. We'll get the radiator set back on here and we'll just tighten all of our clamps down and we'll get the radiator guards put on the front. All right, so we got all the hoses in. We got all the, the clamps tight. We got the radiator braces mounted on the front. Like I said, these are simple. We just reinstall the bolts on the inside and we have these two bolts on the outside that hold it here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put coolant back in it now. And there's no special way that you need to bleed this. What we always recommend is filling it all the way up and above the cores here in the radiator, you'll see if you look down in the cap where they end. You don't wanna to top it completely off to the top of the neck on this. You wanna fill the coolant about halfway up this uh, so we, you would want to run the bike for like 10 minutes, let the water pump kind of circulate stuff through, and then recheck it. And you, like I said, you only ever want to have it about halfway up this. We found in the years past of racing these, if you fill it up too much, you're just going to blow it back out. So only fill it up to here. Um, that'll be the last part of this video is just putting coolant back in it. We're waiting for his IMS gas tank to come in. We'll do a video on that later this week once the tank comes in. If you want to follow along, subscribe to our channel. We're going to do a rear rotor guard on this next, and then we'll do a chain tension video. We've had some people ask how to do the chain tension on these things, so we'll wrap up one of those videos as well.